Hello, welcome, or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. Now this is a little bit of a different video for me, but not entirely because it's luxury item adjacent. Uh, it's about Dior Beauty, and I do share Dior Beauty promo codes on my channel quite often, usually several times a year, especially when Dior is having like big promotions like certain holidays are out and they have more promo codes available. They are a little bit more stingy with promo codes now and they run out a lot faster, but I do have some to share with you. That's gonna be at the end of the video or a little bit later on in the video anyway, because first I want to talk to you about Dior's newest collection. It just came out a couple of days ago. It's their Blooming Boudoir collection and it is absolutely beautiful. It's very spring florally but uh, it is fall now so I'm not exactly sure about the theming of this particular collection but I just wanted to share some items from it because it's absolutely it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure the packaging from this collection is also going to be absolutely gorgeous and there are some new makeup items that have also come out along with the collection pieces that are exclusive to the collection. So the first thing I wanted to share with you was this eyeshadow palette. It is the Dior Show Ten Colors Blooming Boudoir Eyeshadow Palette Limited Edition, which is kind of a mouthful to say, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I do want to say first off that all of the packaging seems to be for the makeup items, seems to be a cloth like kind of covering that's embroidered on top, and it's all white with floral embroidery. So it might get dirty. It might be prone to getting dirty, but if you're careful with your items, I don't think that would be a problem. Dior does oblique items. And, and lighter colored embroidery for their covers for makeup products fairly regularly. So if you're used to that, it shouldn't be an issue. I just wanted to point that out. But the eyeshadow palette is really, really pretty. It's got some really warm tones to it. It's got a white, it's got some pinks and purples and reds, a couple of deeper shades. I'm not sure about the matte to shimmer ratio. It does seem to be more of a matte palette, but I would have to like kind of see it in person to see what the shadow actually looked like. Uh, it is beautiful though. It is like also very like, fall palette if you know now that I think about it because it's got a lot of the warm sort of fall burnt orange brownish shades so even though it's got a, a spring floral pattern it does seem to be a very fall palette so it does kind of fit into the theme of when it's being released. The next makeup item I wanted to share is the Your Forever Cushion Powder the limited edition setting powder and this setting powder is $72, so it's a little bit more expensive than their usual setting powder, which I think is typical for their limited edition collections. They're a little bit more expensive. The eyeshadow palette, by the way, was um, $145. And links to everything I talk about today is gonna be down below in the description uh, if you're interested. Uh, direct links, because they're a little bit hard to find on the website, so I'm gonna have direct links down below for you. But the Dior uh, Cushion Foundation, I mean, it's such a pretty compact. Like, imagine just having that compact in your bag. It, it's so gorgeous. I think it's just a, a translucent setting powder, so this would work for all complexion and skin tone types, I think. And uh, it's just, it's very pretty. I don't know a lot about the Dior Forever Cushion Powder Foundation formula. That's such a mouthful to say, uh, because I don't really use setting powder, but it is, it is very, very nice looking. And so if that's something that you're interested in, I would certainly recommend checking it out. Another thing for the limited edition collection is this lipstick case that is $30 also in the floral uh, embroidered pattern. I think this is, yeah, it looks like it is embroidered. I'm not sure if it's printed or embroidered, but it, it looks embroidered to me. Maybe it's printed. I'm not sure, but it is a beautiful lipstick case. Now the way that the lipstick cases work is that this one is for a Dior Addict Shine lipstick. And so the lips, the Dior Addict Shine lipsticks kind of fit into the case itself. So you pop out the lipstick and you pop it into the case and you can just use the case for your lipstick. So it's not like you have to have the lipstick bullet that's already covered and packaged inside the case and like open the case and then take the bullet out and then open the lipstick up too. It's all like one thing, if you know what I mean. So it's just like, it's only $30. It's a little touch of, touch of luxury in your bag and I just think, I mean, I think that the lipstick cases are actually fairly reasonable. Dior has a bunch of lipstick cases that they offer year round. Like there's a red, there's a blue, there's um, lip lacquered, like shiny ones. There's the Dior Oblique, I think also in a red. I'll link some of the lipstick cases, the other ones down below for you as well, if you're interested to check them out because 
Again, $30, it's not that much money, uh, all things considered, and it's just like an extra touch of like fun luxury that you get to carry around and look at that's special. So I think that those are very good buys. Another thing from the collection, and one that I am very tempted by, honestly, <laughs> is the Misty or Scented Candle. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is so pretty. It's $60 for 80 grams, so it's not a very large candle. And they actually came out with another candle from another Misty or like limited edition collection. So Several months ago and I remember people unboxing the candle and it was like this big. It's pretty eensy. They did say that it had a lot of uh, good uh, scent and that it had really good throw so it was a very scented scented candle so that was that was good but it was very small so it's a pretty small candle for $60 but you know, for a luxury candle, it's kind of around the same price point that a lot of luxury candles end up being. Like if you're looking into like Velispa candles or um, Diptyque candles, they're also in like the 70-ish like dollar range for about that size. So I don't think that it's out of the price range that candles normally are and it is very pretty. Like sitting on your desk or in the background of a shot or something, it's, it's really pretty. So that's something I'm really interested in. And again, it's, uh, it's, I'll, I'll link it down below for you because it is so, so beautiful. I, I love, I love Dior's packaging and presentation. It's just, it's really nice. They really put a lot of thought into how they package and present their items. And I think that really puts them a step above other brands that also do package, like also do beauty, but don't really put as much thought into it as I think Dior does. I think Dior is pretty much up there as one of the top packaging like for especially for beauty like in comparison to like other uh, other brands that that also do like Chanel beauty is very pretty but it's also very like monochromatic and very Chanel and sometimes they'll offer like a, a red as opposed to like a black or a black or a white um, they did just do Chanel did the rose color or the color collection like they had the compacts and different makeup items that came in like pastel yellows and, and pinks and purples and stuff but that's very rare and it's also it was very simple because like it was still monochromatic so I just think I think Dior is like a step above the rest in terms of in terms of packaging. Now aside from the makeup that came packaged in the special um a special motif and design there are a few things that came out in Bath and Body that are just part of the collection. They have uh two uh bathing ritual items that uh just recently released that are I believe Part of the Blooming Boudoir um, collection, they have this Miss Dior Rose Granada Shower Milk, which is in this uh, really pretty, like, pink, almost hound's toothy designed uh, squeezy tube. And that is $55 for two and a half ounces. And they also have a shimmering rose uh, sorbet body gel also for $55. And it does say shimmering. It's in the same packaging. So I'm not sure if it does have some flecks of glitter or anything in it. It says in the description that the gel brightens the skin and wraps it in a hydrating texture scented with the Floral Accords Mist Dior. So I don't know if it's just uh, supposed to be a brightening body gel or if it also has like a shimmer inside of it. It says that it boosts the skin's radiance with a subtle, subtle pearly shimmer. So I guess, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about shimmering body gels? It's not super really my thing, but I do think the packaging is stunning. So uh, it would be really nice in your shower, but I think between the sorbet body gel and the body milk, I'd probably go with uh, the body gel. Um, or the shower milk rather because that's just like a cleanser I think. But yeah, I just wanted to share some of the new things out with Dior. The Blooming Boudoir collection is a very pretty one. The boxes and packaging that you receive the items in will also probably be themed like the packaging that the makeup products are in because Dior usually do, does that. They have like the same continuity for the packaging. So if you order something around this time, even if it isn't part of the Blooming Boudoir collection, it might come in that packaging if you're interested in Dior packaging uh, because I know some people like collect that and stuff. So I just wanted to share. I would love you to let me know if you like these kinds of videos where I talk about like new makeup releases that are you know in the luxury space. It's not something that I've really touched on a lot but it is something that I do follow. I follow new makeup and beauty releases and so especially for the luxury space obviously we're in that venue. So I just wanted to share it with you today and I would love for you to let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And now that I've talked about the new releases I also wanted to share with you some Dior Beauty promo codes that you can apply to your order so you get some extra free gifts with an, your purchase. Now all of these 
beauty promo codes are for an 150 minimum dollar order. So you have to order $150 minimum to apply the promo code and then you will get the free gift. And also if you spend over $100 on any Dior um, order, you'll get a free Dior um, miniature that you get to pick. And you also get two samples from the selection that Dior offers at the time. So you'll get all these free gifts plus uh, another mini plus two samples. So you might get up to like seven or eight uh, gifts with any of these uh, promo codes. Oh, and really quick, all the promo codes for them to work, they are US only. I still haven't been able to find promo codes that work in other parts of the world. I don't know if it's just like my IP address won't load them or something, but these promo codes are US only uh, from what I can tell. And you have to be signed into your Dior Beauty account in order to use them. Now the Dior Beauty account is totally free and it also like lets you like earn points and uh, like earn different levels for your spend. So I do recommend using uh, an account anyway, but uh, in order for the promo codes to work, you do need to be signed into your beauty account. So just wanted to let you know on that. So the first one I wanted to share is one that I think is really cool and it is is LCP Cart. And with this promo code, you're going to receive three fragrance minis. You're going to receive Amber Nui, Dior Riviera, and Oud Isfahan. And I think that that is such a good one, especially if you're interested in fragrance. Like if you're not interested in fragrance, like don't use LCP Cart. It, that would be silly. But um, when I order Dior, this is the one that I use <laughs> because I just really like getting the fragrance minis, especially Amber Nui and Dior Riviera. They're ones that I like trying. Oud Isfahan is not my favorite. I do have several of that and I'm not sure what to do with it at this point because I'm not a fan of the fragrance myself, but uh, I, I think that getting the other two fragrance minis is worth it. So LCP card on a $150 order, you'll get the three fragrance minis. If you're more interested in makeup, using Miss You 23 will get you a little mini mascara, a mini Rouge Dior, and a makeup pouch, especially if you are interested in a makeup pouch. So the, that one would be a really good one for you. If you're more interested in uh, skincare, Complexion 23, also on $150, will get you a discovery size of the La Mousse Foaming Cleanser and the Dior Eye and Lip Makeup Remover, as well as another different type of pouch. It's like this little drawstring pouch, which I think is really cute. I hope that these promo codes are all gonna be still available when this video comes out. I'm gonna try to get the video out today, so uh, you'll be able to use them right away. Some of the promo codes have been um, uh, deactivating earlier than others, but right now all these promo codes uh, work. Another promo code if you're a makeup lover is Dior Cart. You'll get a mini mascara, a mini lip maximizer, and another little black pouch. And you can also use the code in cart to get a little Dior mini lip duo. So I believe that it's going to be a Rouge Dior 999 and their nude, uh, like their mauve nude lipstick, which I think is one, uh, you'll get those two in the, the cart as well. Now, most of these gifts come with like three different little miniatures or a, a pouch too. So you're gonna get those three things, plus the additional miniature for the 100 plus spend, plus the two samples. So you can get up to like six or seven items for uh, any of these codes. So if you use any of these codes, uh, please tell me in the comments down below, or if you're ordering something for Dior, or if you really are interested in the Blooming Boudoir collection, please do let me know. I'd love to hear about it. If you order something, uh, because this video has shared it, I would love to know because I love knowing when like something I've shared has like helped you uh, find something that you really like or really enjoy. If you have any Dior Beauty promo codes that you'd like to share with the class, please do in a comment down below. Also, I'd love to see that. And also be sure that you're following me on Instagram because I do share a lot of promo codes and new releases uh, on my stories on Instagram too. So leave my Instagram handle down below and also in the description box. I know that this was kind of a different video, but I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please do like the video. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content because it helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.